Hey guys, check it out. It's sumac, a plant that you use to make a delicious sour drink called sumac aid. And it's not poison sumac, but it's a different species. And so I actually just did a video on a plant that's growing right over there on sumac. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. And the reason I want to do this video is because it's a different species of sumac. So a lot of times when you learn a genus, such as take for example blueberries, you'll learn uh, that one genus and even if you don't know all the different species of blueberries, because worldwide there's maybe a hundred species, I don't know, then you still be able to identify all of the different species of blueberries if you only learn one or two because you've learned that pattern. So in this video I'm going to show you another species of sumac called Ruis copolinum. So it's in the genus Ruis, R-H-U-S, and the one we looked at before, if you go back to the first video on Legacy Wilderness Academy, you can check it out, and I show you all the ways how to identify it. Well, this one's very different. So the other one, which is growing right over there, has berries that are already ready. Well, in this plant, the flowers are still in bloom. So this is a later, uh, flowers later. And that's cool to know because that means that we can harvest fruit for a larger season of availability. So if this one, uh, you know, the other ones are already starting to get old, this one will still be in prime season. So we have here the little green flowers with the uh, little, you can see there the little pollen sacs called anthers, which are yellow. And so one way is that this is a much later plant. Another way to identify this plant which separates it from the other species is the leaves are a lot smaller. So here we have one leaf comprised of two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven leaflets here on my hand. So we have eleven leaflets, average number of leaflets for this species, and it's hairy. And so the other species we looked at was completely hairless, and it had this kind of bloom on it. It was like a white powder, which this one doesn't have and the underside of the leaf were like white pretty much and this one completely lacks that characteristic. Another thing was the other leaves and actually here we have a, a leaflet from the from the other uh, here we have an, a little leaflet from the other species you can compare the difference and you see there this one from the other video has tooth leaflets whereas this one has no teeth on the leaflets and the, look at the underside there big difference and so this Rus copolinum also has these little winged uh, stem edges, which separates it and makes it different. So whenever we go to learn different uh, genus of a plant, you want to learn a couple different species. Then once you recognize the pattern for the whole genus, you'll be able to try new plants that you've never even seen or read about before. And you'll know that it's a different species of sumac. So when I first learned this plant, I didn't have to look it up in a book. I knew this is a type of sumac but it's obviously a different species. And so before I even identified it, I knew that I could use it for food. So we wanna learn not just individual plants, but we wanna learn the next level up, which is the genus. So thanks for watching. Uh, check out Legacy Wilderness Academy for more videos on edible plants, medicinal plants, bushcraft, wilderness living skills, survival skills, sustainable design, sustainable living, and I'll see you next time.